what is going on shout out to my new subscribers and my TikTok. the only option you have and i know i keep saying this but the only option you have is to get your passports and go overseas now i want you to hear me out because you know i've been hearing some stuff in the comments and you know i've seen other content creators talking about well you know i don't have to leave the states and this that and the third listen man you don't have any choice. Hang on. There we go. You don't have any choice. Hear me out. This is why. <sighs> Women in the States right now are in one of two camps. They either can't stand men or observing. They're just watching. Okay? Either way it goes, it does you no good. So the best thing for you to do is to optimize your options. And you're going to optimize these options by going overseas. And hear me out, you can make a base of operation in one of those countries, and then you can move around. Now, I tell you guys this stuff, man, because I'm an observant person. I'm noticing how women are moving. And it almost seems like they prefer to study you and monetize what they see than to really be interested. So I'm just, listen, it's just an option. It's just an option. Also, you can still date, you know, women in the States. It's not like you're going to have to uh, stop dating them. You can broaden your, uh, your horizons, okay? Now, out here right now, I just, I'm just making observations and I have women who have tried to cut me off or whatever, you know, or I had to cut them off. They're still hoovering around. They still like to observe, you know, they're still checking out my social media. I'm just being real. And even though, you know, some of these women, I've unfriended them or whatever, and they're still checking me out. I've got other women out here who are hitting me up like I've asked y'all to. Shout out to y'all who are actually, you know what I'm saying, doing what I asked and reaching out. But when y'all reach out and you're shooting your shot or whatever, here's my thing. I don't like to be on the internet for no good reason. If we're both on our phone, then why am I on the social media app talking to you? Let's exchange numbers. Let's exchange numbers and let's get off of social media, man. I mean, seriously. If you refuse to give me your number and you're uh, talking to me from that phone number on a social media app, I'm just going to take it. If you refuse to give me your number and you're uh, talking to me from that phone number on a social media app, I'm just going to take it like some type of shade. You know what I mean? So that's just word to the wise, to the women out there that are shooting their shot to men. Once the guy's like, hey, you know, let me go and get your number, da, 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 da. Exchange numbers. If you're shooting your shot, why are you trying to control when the numbers are exchanged? That's kind of weird, don't you think? Like, what do you think? What kind of, you know, I don't know. Like, what, what do you, what kind of president are you setting, you're setting for this guy when you're out here? I'm just saying, be real. Be real. Just over here. Look, I just got through working out. I'm just saying, be real. Be real. Just over here. Look, I just got through working out. Bear with me. Trying to get this video out on YouTube. Shout out to the uh, YouTube tribe. You know, you guys seem to like these TikTok uh, live stream replays. So anyway, like I was saying, ladies, right now, if you're not watching the news, they're talking about by 2030, you know, most of y'all are going to be childless and manless. Now, we can already see the writing on the wall. It'd probably be best, and I see a lot of y'all doing some of this stuff already. It'd probably be best to drop some of the um, man-hating, okay? Because a lot of you guys are out here hating men one minute, and then in the uh, other side of your neck, talking about how much you miss a man and you need to be held or touched or whatever, right? We're not, I'm not playing these games with y'all anymore. Men are serious, especially men like me. I'm going overseas. I'm look, the dating games are just too much for me. 
Some of you men are out here putting down deposits. You're putting down deposits for dates. You're listening to her babble about why she has more bodies than a cemetery. And, you know, you're letting it go because you want some cooter. And I'm trying to tell you, man, all coochie ain't good coochie. I keep trying to tell y'all this, man. You know, some of y'all be getting some of these women that look halfway decent and you think you're getting lucky. No, my friend, you're not getting lucky. You know, she might be burning and decided to get some loser that nobody would believe that she hook up with. Y'all don't understand how the trifling modern American woman is moving, right? They're moving funny in these streets, y'all. So, I mean, look, if you can't get your passport, if you can't make your way overseas, you need to be out here using your discernment, your God-given men's intuition. You know, I know women are always talking about their intuition. It's funny about that woman's intuition, right? They seem to tell, be able to tell you everything that you need to do, but always end up making babies with a Pookie, Ray Ray, Brady, or Brad, huh? Got all that intuition in the world, but keep having these babies out of wedlock by a bunch of deadbeats. Got all that intuition in the world, but keep having these babies out of wedlock by a bunch of deadbeats. But, you know, it is what it is, right? Can't say nothing. It is what it is. But look, there are some good ones out there into the good women, right? I don't know what y'all are waiting on. Maybe you think dudes are going to eventually break down into the good women, right? I don't know what y'all are waiting on. Maybe you think dudes are going to eventually break. And when I get over there, I plan on putting together different conferences and stuff like that, making major moves over there, right? Making major moves. I plan on taking over Thailand. That's just my thing. I don't mean like taking over in a bad sense. Just when people think about Thailand, they're going to think about me, period. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Put a dot at the end. Look, man. And ladies. Before we're all gone, you need to go on ahead and do it because y'all know y'all are watching. You need to go ahead and put a bid in, you know, go ahead and submit your applications because listen, I know you think, oh, he's, he's funny. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? You know, we all love a good kiki, but he, he, hell. No, no, no. I'm speaking facts over here. Like you need to be putting your best foot forward. You see the kind of guys you like, but instead you guys just watch from a distance. Some of y'all have reached out, things haven't worked out the way that you wanted it to, and then you decide to hoover around and check in from time to time. That sounds cute and everything until you get cut off, okay? It's, it's cute and everything. I feel like you can just check in or whatever. My thing about it is if I already started talking to you and it didn't work out, I don't need you in my friends list. I don't need you hoovering around me. I don't need any of that kind of energy. I'm not going to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? So it's not, listen, it's not that hard. Gentlemen, make sure you maintain your frame. Don't be out here, you know, backing down from your boundaries and your standards just because you're feeling a little bit lonely. Again, you can make trips. You can find yourself a good woman some type of way through somebody that you know. You know, the good old fashioned way we used to do things. Somebody that you know or somebody that knows of you runs into a really good woman that they can't get themselves because they're married and the, their wife will probably find out. So they, you know, whatever the reason is, you know, so they go ahead and put you on, you know, or, you know, family member or whoever, coworker, the good old fashioned way of pre-vetting. You're already getting someone that's pre-vetted by one of your uh, acquaintances that know you very well, close family member, friend, whatever, right? Blood. So, you know, we need to get back to that kind of way of doing things, man. Vet these women if you're going to stay in the States and talk to them. But again, a lot of these women are just, they're hiding. The decent ones, they're hiding. Let them stay hidden. We've warned them too many times about this, man. I mean, it's already been 10 minutes. This is crazy. I just started talking. Man, hurry up. You know, I, listen, we... We know y'all are watching, right? And I know that it's intimidating to approach a man, but I want y'all to look at it from this, you know, perspective. You might want a guy to approach you because you believe that to be the way it's always been done and you feel some type of way disrespected 
if it's not. But think about it. It's 2024 and times are hard. What man do you know that isn't rich already has the time to be chasing down women, going on multiple dates, approaching you, therefore approaching others? Don't ever make yourself believe that you're something so special that that one guy approached you. You should feel disrespected when a man approaches you. And I'm going to tell you why. He's approaching you, probably approached some chick at the gas station, probably approached some chick right outside the bathroom at the uh, fast uh, food spot that he stopped at. He's just a dog in heat running around approaching everything. So you really feel like that's what you want? No, nah, that's not what you want. You want a man that's in a league of his own, a man that's going to make every other woman jealous, going to motivate you and show you, you know what I'm saying, lead you, guide you, all that good stuff. Now, how are you going to find a man that's going to lead you, guide you, protect you, be about his business if he's out here chasing down women like a hound dog? You know what I mean? Just sniffing every, no, 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 no. See, it sounds nice when other women are talking about, oh, these guys are weak. They don't approach. No, we're not weak. We're just thinking things through. Now, you know, whenever you're approaching women, you really only get two numbers out of 10 or 11, something along that average. Why are you running down expensive haircuts and putting on these outfits, you know, feeling like you got to let some women know, ain't you fresh? Well, you know you fresh, but, you know, a woman might just go ahead and tell you, oh, you ain't nothing just because. Just because. When you know you're on top of your game. Listen, I'm on top of my game, and I have a bunch of YouTube content creators always trying to let me know that I ain't shit. Listen, man, the more that I have people letting me know that I ain't nothing lets me know how much of a something I am. Think about it, man. I ain't got nobody out here cheerleading for me. But I got a whole lot of people telling me I ain't nothing. You know what I mean? Those are my cheerleaders. They're just people with some trauma that don't know how to express their love properly. And I know that kind of stuff, right? So listen, out here right now, gentlemen, just play it by ear. If you don't want to go overseas, but you know I'm advocating for it, you can probably find your woman out here if you're vetting properly. But don't be out here chasing after these women that want you to chase them. If they want you to chase them, they got other guys chasing them. And the only kind of guys out here chasing women are dogs. The kind of dogs out here with fleas, if you know what I mean. That's time for that kind of stuff. You know, you should be wanting a different kind of woman. I'm just kidding. I'm stopping by. I just posted. Hey, what's going on, gorgeous? What's going on? You about to, you about to go to bed? Love and light. Absolutely. I'm going to go check out your channel. You know, I'm seeing you always putting up something positive. You know, you're always live. I'm trying to go live over here more often. So you'll probably see me more often over here. Uh, TikTok is going to be my main thing now that I know that they're not going to delete the app. You know, they're talking about integrate, integrating it, you know, so that you can kind of uh, run it with like YouTube and Facebook and all that stuff too. Basically, the U.S. government wants their share of the money. You know what I'm saying? They won't end on the money. And TikTok's like, yeah, we're going to let you do it. You know what I'm saying? About to go live. What's up? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. So that's not going anywhere. So I'm going to spend a lot more time over here. You know, so, you know, maybe I can uh, run it up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think that they're going to be able to do that. You know, I'm pretty sure that's going on in the background. At least, at least that's what I heard. So. We'll just let the uh, dust settle. It's always a gimmick anyway whenever they're doing that. I don't think it's going to go through. You know, I really believe that um, it's another pressure mechanism. Well, there's some things going on. You know, over here, there's a lot of truth tellers and things of that nature. But I believe that um, the powers that be, they want to be able to uh, get their share of the money. Also, probably want TikTok to run through a few filters of their own before letting things be posted all about the money everything in this country is always about the money you know they all the erase baiting and stuff like that you know, a little bit but it's more so always about the money you know that's all they care about so as long as uh and i think tiktok is making so much money over here i think they're going to work with them to a certain degree so you know you guys that are already on here with huge channels y'all did the right thing um you know what I'm saying? Keep it going. And I, I I can assure you, more than likely, it's definitely not going to go anywhere. 
they've been trying to ban it for at least what the past two years. You know what I'm saying? It's almost seeming like a little gimmick at this point. So when I see that it ain't going anywhere, I'm like, I got to double down, triple down, you know, get my channel built up before they start putting the filters on like they got YouTube and you can't build for nothing unless you do exactly according to the guidelines and talk about what they want you to say. You can't cuss. You can't get too loud. You got to talk monotone like this. Oh man, I can't stand YouTube. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, this video is going on YouTube. YouTube, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all know what y'all doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you definitely got it. You know, and uh, you guys have been doing it the right kind of way. Maintaining your channels, not worrying about anybody deleting anything. Come on. I'm not going to ban it over here. It's got to work on that money negotiating a little bit. They got to let off that money. Like, hey, listen, you got to let off the grip of that money a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, YouTube is trash. If they could get, like, Rumble up or something else, man. Where you can't, because it's it's so filtered now to where, you know, whatever agenda's in, it, it'll like get pushed out. So like if the agenda for women's empowerment is in, then all women can get pushed out on YouTube. And if you're a man, you're dirt. You get nothing. You get nothing. You know what I'm saying? They give you, they give you their ass to kiss. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be over here. I'm like, man, you know what? I'm, I'm going to get over here because I, you know, you I be going off over here, and TikTok will be like, "Oh, it's, it's um, it seems to be trending," and I'll just hit the algorithm. I'm like, now it's going off in that video. So I'm, I'm telling you, man, like I like TikTok, I do. But you got to be a certain kind of group. That's why everybody make fun of TikTokers because you got to be a certain group to be over here. It's the energy to TikTok is different. You can't be a robot. You know the problem is, YouTubers try to come over here and they can't really get their stuff popping because. You know, on TikTok, it's a different energy. You can't be a robot. You have to have a personality. I don't care if you're going off. I don't care if you're doing like your thing, just smiling and showing your nice ass body. You know, either way it goes, you have to have a personality and an energy. You can't just be on here just babbling about whatever to hit the algorithm. It ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? You have to be real. You have to be real. It don't even matter what kind of real it is. You know, you got to be real. Oh, you know what you be doing. I just seen one of your videos the other day. What, you been working out? Good Lord. Have mercy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, and I'm so serious, man. I'm looking good, girl. What you talking about? When I get off of here, man, I'm going to go on over there and check out one of your videos. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to back off from it. You know how I am. You know you be looking good, and you know I be looking at you. I mean, I ain't I ain't ashamed of it whatsoever. You're welcome. You're welcome. You be having to remind people that you're uh, in your 40s. You know, you be having the whippersnappers out there trying to hit you up. Young bucks be hitting you. Oh, no, no. <laughs> You're looking good, girl. You're looking good. Anyway, you know, I was just on here talking about how, you know, as men, we got to buckle down and stay focused. And I told them there's some good women out there. You know what I mean? You know, I was like, you're one of them. They're out there, you know, but uh, y'all are hiding. Okay. Y'all don't come out the house. I'm going to be real. Y'all good ones don't come out the house, man. Y'all don't be out the house. You know, I appreciate you, sweetheart. I appreciate you. I'm outside though, sweetheart. I'm out here. You know, all you got to do is let me know what state, you know, I'm trying to go cross country over here with this truck and this uh, motorcycle. Before I move to Thailand, you know, what I'm look, I don't care. Okay, okay. Look, I, I don't mean to embarrass you. Not. I just, I just be talking. You know, I like to talk. You see it all the time. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I mean, you over there doing those squats. Let me stop. Let me stop. You know, all I'm saying is, you know, you're doing it in your videos. You know, it's very motivational. Yeah, Thailand. Listen, you should come out and visit. You know, I'm going to get a spot out uh, towards the city. I'm not going to be in the country area like I am here. Not in the Providence or nothing like that. Out in the city. Getting a nice condo towards a uh, high tower building. You know what I'm saying? On the top floors with a nice balcony. Oh, absolutely. You know, especially in the early a.m. I think you'll be dropping those videos early. So, you know, I'm like lifting weights and uh, start getting kind of sore. And you drop one of those videos and it's just the blood starts flowing, if you know what I mean. I'm just like, ah, 
Let's get it popping. All right, now I'm in uh, I'm in Asheville, North Carolina, and in this little town I'm in outside of Asheville, I swear up and down it's a sundown town. I don't know if you know what a sundown town is, but I swear it's a sundown town. Everything is closed by 8.30. Now, you explain to me, what kind of hours are 8.30? What are you doing? What is it? Why is it not 8 or 9? 8.30? What are we doing? It's a sun downtown. The sun's down by 8.30. They were closing up at 8.30 when the sun was going down at 5. You know, it's a sun downtown. I'm like, good. God. They act like they ain't never seen. Oh, no, no, I ain't going to say that. No, no, no. I'm going to say it. They like they never seen a black person before. I was at the local gas station. Do you know what they were calling me? They were like, hey, what's going on, Darius Rucker? Do you know who Darius Rucker is? I'll tell you. He's a country singer that was paving the way long before Beyonce. But he's a lead singer of Hootie and the Blowfish. They said I look like the lead singer of Hootie and the Blowfish. We're not even the same skin complexion. I got a full head of hair. He doesn't even have a beard like that. I'm like, what are you? I was like, you know, I was like, okay, yeah. Uh, can I uh, go ahead and uh, get my gummy bears? All right. Anyway, I'm out of here. It's crazy out here, man. I got to go. Now, listen, when I say I got to go, I'm going to leave this town and move out of here because it was good for the healing, right? I moved out here when I needed to heal and didn't want to interact with anyone, and it was perfect. But now I want to interact. There's no one here. I stand out like a sore thumb. I can't. I was at the local grocery store. I'm not even trying to be funny. And I did a pickup order because I'm tired of being stared at. The woman that brought, I don't know why they sent the woman out there. The woman that brought my stuff out, she was dropping my food. She was stuttering. She couldn't speak to me. She couldn't even look at my face. She wouldn't even look at me in my face. She was talking to my kid. I was like, oh, well, I'm just looking too good. You know how it is. You know what I'm saying? Which are gorgeous. You know how it is, gorgeous. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're in a... Uh, oh, you're from... Are you from... Uh, are you in there right now? Are you in uh, Southeast Texas right now? Yeah. Yeah, you definitely know how it feels. And that's... Listen, I just... It's not even like in a sense like they're they're scared of black people. It's like they ain't seen too many and they ain't seen too many look good. So they're just like... Like looking at me like there's really black men that look this good. I don't I don't know how to describe it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to describe it. And now, I mean this woman was like, and I didn't know what to say to her because I don't want to drop my food everywhere, man. So I had some ice cream in there. And I mean, not just one item, she dropped multiple. I was like, maybe she's just having a, a moment. No, no, no. She couldn't look me in the face. When she did look at me in the face, she looked away real quick, you know, kind of like women be doing over here on TikTok. And I was like, oh man, I'm I'm too attractive for her. You know how it is. Uh, oh, is something going wrong? What about now? Any better? Hey, what about now? Well, if it's not working or whatever, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. But um, if it is working, I'm going to go ahead and finish off. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'll be back on here. I must have said something. It might have triggered the algorithm or something like that. Or my Wi-Fi or something like that. I, I don't know. But um, this is going up on YouTube for the uh, replay. I'll be back on here later on to work out. Man, I wanted to tell her, you know what I'm saying, something before she left. But I guess it kind of booted her. I think it kicked me off the live or something. Anyway, peace, love, and light, y'all. I'm out.